new here my name is Amara and I am a online yoga teacher and I thought I would take you along for a day of my life whilst I'm at home so I am currently in the Cayman Islands and the Caribbean and it is my home I have been home to be with my family for the Christmas holidays but it is now the 2nd of January 2023 happy new year and I thought I would just take you along for a day of my life so we are starting the day with a yoga class, to be fair, it is 9.30, it's a 10am class, but she's allowing herself to have a slow start, and then we will see where the day takes us. later um i went to as you will have seen to my yoga class this morning it was a hot yoga deep flow into sound healing it was really really lovely but it was so hot there was like obviously the room is heated but there were 27 of us in the room so it was like honestly so so hot but it was really really lovely and then i was with my best friends so we just went and had some breakfast and we we're on the beach had a cute little morning um, so yeah, I am now home, still very sweaty from my morning class, which is a bit grim. Um, but the plan is now is that I need to do just a few little worky bits. I want to take a little bit of content. And then this evening, the plan is to write some intentions to really begin to get clear on what I'm doing in 2022 and not in the sense of these aren't going to be like prescribed intentions they're going to be just kind of themes that I want to work with and I want there to be a lot of fluidity around it I think fluidity is probably going to be one of them that seems to be really seeing to me at the moment um but just things that I already know I want to focus on but I feel like when you write them down they become more real right when you get them out of your head into the real world into something tangible it feels a lot more manageable and it feels a lot more real so that is the plan for this evening as I said it is my last evening here before I travel tomorrow which honestly is heartbreaking I never want to leave home I feel like anyone who lives away and loves their home will never want to leave home when the time comes I was meant to go today extended my flight um, so yeah that is kind of the plan obviously spend some quality time with my family as well um, but as I said this is kind of a it's an unusual day in the life of me my life as a yoga teacher because it's kind of a day off um, I'm focusing a lot on my online stuff at the moment so obviously I will go on and check in with my online membership and see how everyone is doing in that sense but it's just been really lovely to put my own practice first over the past few weeks and I am thoroughly enjoying that and that is again probably going to be something I carry into this new year but with that being said let's make a move and get on with the rest of the day doing my vision board which you will have seen I find that vision boarding is just such a beautiful way to bring everything that's in my mind onto a page and I for me I'm a really visual person so I find I attach an energy to a picture and it makes me feel a certain way and it also it just keeps me really accountable so I have created my vision board which I love um, I think I also mentioned earlier I wanted to set some intentions for the year ahead and if I'm honest I don't feel like I'm in a grounded enough space to currently set those intentions everything still feels very up in the air I don't feel like I know if I'm going or coming 
um, and I think that's just partly to do with the fact that I'm traveling tomorrow and I'm traveling sort of till the rest of the week so I'm not really settled and I find it very hard to set intentions when I'm not grounded so I'm kind of just letting go of that and letting go of the need to know everything right now and I think if anyone else is feeling the same way if they're just feeling like I don't know what I want to do this year I don't know what's going on like I don't feel ready just know that you don't have to feel ready like it's the second of January now but you can set intentions in February you can set intentions in July I usually set like mid-year intentions anyway but just know that you don't need to know everything right now you don't have to have it all together right now and I just think that that's a good reminder for myself um, but it's also a really good reminder for all of us as well. Um, and for me personally, coming into this year, getting a little bit deep, I guess, but it's not that it's not where I thought I'd be. It's just that I think quite often we can fall into a trap of always wishing we were at another stage in our life and always wishing that things were different to the way they currently are. And I'm, I'm really guilty of this and I try really hard to stay present and practice gratitude for where I am right now. And I was literally sitting with myself the other day thinking about this and just kind of in my feels. I'm a water sign, I get very much in my feels. And I was sort of not speaking out loud in my head and then it was like a higher self moment came in and was like, but isn't that what life is all about? Like I was feeling this feeling of like, oh, I'm really growing tired of how impermanent things feel and literally that higher self voice came through and was like isn't that what life's about though things aren't always meant to be the same and I don't know that's a theme for anyone else hopefully that little bit of wisdom resonated with you but more to the point where if you are coming into 2023 and you're not necessarily where you thought you'd be you want to be you don't really see things going the way you exactly wanted them to go this year that's totally okay first of all so much can happen in a year and I believe this so wholeheartedly, like my life, even over the past 18 months has completely changed. Like my priorities have changed, who I am as a person has changed and so much can change in a year. So the things that might feel unreachable right now, you're gonna be a completely different person at the end of this year. Not completely different, but you're gonna be a much more wise and grown version of yourself at the end of this year. So don't stress about that but also just know that it's a season of life wherever you are whatever you're doing this is a season of life and aren't we lucky to have so many seasons and live such a full life and so many different experiences within one life i'm finding that really comforting maybe you're finding it comforting too i have just come up to um my room because i'm actually planning on doing a yearly tarot reading hence the this is like my childhood bedroom really cute I actually really love it um but yeah hence PJ's in bed about to do a tarot reading um I can't remember if I did one of these at the beginning of last year I must have done it seems very unlike me not to can't for the life of me remember what it had said but I'm still sort of not really sure what I want to know I think I'm going to actually use this card reading to help me focus on some themes for the year ahead and give me a little bit of guidance as to what I should be focusing on and just maybe some themes for the seasons. I think especially if anyone's into tarot and having their cards read and things like that, I'm not super into the whole, this is probably gonna be really controversial, I'm not super into the whole predicting the future and things like that because I think you're only gonna no, you're only going to be shown what you're ready to know right now. Fine. Okay. That's what you want to do. Um, but it doesn't really give you much because then you're just so hyper-focused on like, well, this is meant to happen at this time that I think you let go of fluidity. So I'm trying to steer away from trying to like pull a card for each month of the year and see what's kind of coming. Um, and steer more towards themes and things I need to focus on. And to be quite honest with you, I have a really in a way, a very clear vision for this year, but then also in a way, not very clear vision for this year. And actually, when I was at coffee and breakfast with my best friend earlier, she was saying how she listened to a podcast and the person who was doing the podcast was saying that she was planning the year, but she realized that she was planning so much that she didn't leave any time for magic. And I talk about this so much, not quite in those words, but this is something I talk about an awful lot when I talk about manifesting. Um, and, and I talk about doing heart-led manifestations, right? So 
I truly do believe you can manifest anything and you can create anything, but sometimes when we're in this process of manifesting, which is very masculine, not a lot of people realize that manifesting is actually quite a masculine process. When you're in this process of manifesting, you, if you are too hyper-focused on the outcome, if you're very attached to the outcome, what you're doing is you're completely taking yourself out of the feminine and you're not actually leaving time for magic, as that person said, but what you're not leaving time for is the universe to take you to where you need to be. So it's kind of a waste, not a waste of time, but planning is good, but don't over plan because there is such a path for you and you probably don't know half of it yet. And if you plan too much to a T, you're gonna get frustrated when things don't go your way and not actually see the magic and the fact that things aren't going your way and not actually see that you're going on a new adventure that you were always meant to go on. So I think that's also a really useful tip if you are a bit more of a type A girly and you like to plan everything down to a T, leave time for magic, leave time for that feminine flow, leave time for life to happen. I feel like I'm talking a lot of wisdom that I actually need for myself. So this is kind of like, this is like a journal entry. I really hope you guys are enjoying it, but yeah. Feels a little bit like a journal entry. I have been talking for seven minutes, Jesus Christ. Right, let's get on to pulling some cards. a little bit there are not tarot reading is not scary at all but I just mean in the sense of like um a card came that I really didn't expect to come and it's actually a repeat card from something I actually asked last year it was a really specific question that I asked and this card came and at the time I was like oh that's a really clear sign and then it was about something in the future and then I did my personal part of my card reading and that card came and I was like Ooh, okay, um, super interesting. So yes, that is kind of taking up real estate in my mind. <laughs> it's very exciting. Um, but yeah, I also pulled on some clarity around themes and it was kind of what I already knew a little bit around um, fluidity, being open to new adventures, to honoring seasons of life. There was also another one which was around um, really looking after yourself and just really like, looking out for you and protecting what you are super invested in this year, which is super, super interesting. Um, yeah, very, very, very interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see how that kind of plays out. And I feel like it's given me a little bit of guidance for intentions. So I'm gonna sort of have a little look over. I always take pictures of my cards when I do these readings and I will just have a little look over them later this week when I go to set those intentions. See how they're marinating, but as I'm doing my skincare, I thought I would kind of finish the vlog here, but I'll do my skincare with you. I feel like today hasn't been a super worky day in the life, which is actually nice. Um, but what I did want to say is that if you haven't already seen, I, and this is actually the worky bit I was doing today, I was checking in with people and just responding to comments and things like that. But if you haven't already seen, I have launched my January challenge on this channel. It's called the Becoming Challenge. And it's a series of seven classes, both asana focus, one's meditation, one's intention setting. And I have created this seven day journey of becoming, which was created for the beginning of this year, but also I wanted to create a series that you can come to whenever you feel like you're entering a new season of life. So all of the classes are really short, they're just 15 minutes and they are all around different areas of, and I guess themes in which we want to harness as we are on this journey to becoming your truest self, your highest self, to becoming whoever it is you feel you should be or you know you can be, all of those really beautiful things. So if you haven't already seen that, they're up. There's a new one every day. Maybe you'll watch this a little bit later on, all seven are there, but I really, really recommend go and have a look, go and join me for that seven day journey because first of all, I've put so much effort into it. I'm so excited about it and I truly do believe they are some of the most high quality classes that I have shared so far. So 
super excited about that. That was my little tiny bit of worky stuff I did today, just checking in with people, checking in with Soul Shadow, which is my online membership, but also checking in with YouTube comments and just seeing how everyone's getting on, which is great. Um, a lot of people are really, really enjoying it. In terms of the classes, I always try to teach in a really inclusive way, but as you may know, I do teach um, in general uh, practitioners who already have a yoga practice just because we talk a lot about the more spiritual side of things, but always there are variations. And when you are taking these classes, also please do remember you can take any variations you wish. You can stay in child's pose for the entire class if that feels good in your body. So please just always know that I'm not the teacher who ever expects you to be able to do everything. This is a journey and it's a journey to your practice also becoming, but yes, a little bit of a rant there. Um, but yeah, so excited about this becoming journey. And if you haven't already had a little look, there is a playlist on this channel, go and check it out. But otherwise I am thinking that I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope that you enjoyed spending a day at home, my real home where I'm from. Um, it has been so lovely to take you with me through a day in my life here. Super sad that it was my last full day, but now very much looking forward to 2023 and everything that is ahead. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you so much love and gratitude and also just so much good vibes, good energy for the beginning of 2023. However it is you're feeling, whether you're excited, whether you're a little bit nervous, I've also got the nerves. Um, however it is you're feeling, I'm just sending you so much love, sending you all the good vibes, and I will see you in our next video here, whether it's a yoga class, whether it's another vlog, and I'm just sending you so much love. Bye guys.